Hey guys, Iron Seagull here, back with another review for The Sims 3 Store. This time it is the Farm Fresh Folk Set, which is 1200 points on sale right now until September 12th, and then it will go up to 1400 sim points. So, unlike other store reviews, I'll actually be able to cover the clothes this time. However, I will do that in picture form, so I will cut to those right about now? Maybe now? Yeah, anytime. Pretty nice, though I won't use it much. Very nice, I like this one a lot. That one's really nice too, I might actually use that quite a bit. Ew, what the heck? Much better colors, much better. Cute, I think I'll use it once in a while. Okay, so I'll quickly go over the new furniture now because I'm really excited to get to the premium content. Anyways, so there's a lot of pioneer styled furniture as well. And there's this love seat right here. It's pretty nice. Uh, these uh, end tables, which are on top of squares of wood for some reason. And then there's this sculpture here, which is called. Um, this is a really. Strange name. Oh yeah, it's called A Bust of Some Famous Guy. Some famous guy. Yeah. Really weird. And the table that it's on is new as well. And this desk is new. I didn't put a chair in front of it just because I wanted to show off the full gloriousness of this desk. Well, maybe I overstated that a little bit, but it's pretty nice. And then there's this chair over here, which is also new. And then there's a table lamp that's new and that wall light those pictures that curtain and this really nice sailboat painting there's actually a few different whoop, stencils for this one or rather I should say different paintings but I'll let you discover those for yourself um, oh right and there's a fireplace, I just couldn't fit it in the house that I'm playing in. By the way, this is in the world of Ann Arbor, which I'll be reviewing in the second episode of my Sims 3 World Showcase series, so that's pretty awesome. But anyways, yeah, this fireplace is new and I just place it outside because you can place fireplaces outside. Fun fact, if you didn't know that already. And, um, am I missing anything? Just making sure. Um, no, it doesn't seem like it. I wish there was a rocking chair, but we're going to be getting one with movie stuff next week anyways. So, I guess it's no biggie. Um, so I guess without further ado, we're going to get to the part that I'm sure all of you are here for. The cows! Yeah, and I also added the chicken coop beside it. It was actually the first commentary store review I did, which is kind of cool. I'm feeling sort of nostalgic right now because of that. So, the name of this object is the Milkinet Dairy Coral. So this is where the awesomeness that is cows in The Sims 3 takes place. So let's finally unpause this game and look at those cows. There's like, there's ones in there, they're like, they're creepy, they're like, we hate life, we're stuck in here for all eternity, we can't move at all. Life sucks for us. Pity us. I don't. We don't care if you have so much in common. Our life sucks. Yeah, it sucks. But there's this cow that is lucky and is able to move around. And uh, I don't think the cow has a name, unless it's Bessie, because that's a really common cow name to have. Um, maybe, possibly. I don't know, but the cow does move around, which is kind of cool, but it's only within the confines of this object, which is fairly big. So let's have Sim interact with it, not laundry now, do that later. So there's get milk, feed stuff, and depending on what you feed the cows, you can get different food products from it, which is really awesome. <clears throat> Actually. Now that I said the word awesome, I'm going to bring back the awesome counter 
for this review, just like I did in that Skylight Studios review a while ago, because that was awesome and it was funny and everyone seemed to enjoy it. And this set was highly anticipated, so we might as well use the awesomeness. So the cow's coming out. The animations are actually pretty smooth. It's not bad, actually. So yeah, we're gonna do the the tic-tac-toe thingy first. This is kind of interesting. I didn't know cows were smart enough to do this. I guess it's only in the world of The Sims. And man, does Mariella look weird in this outfit. Sort of. I guess it could be worse. But I think she was really reluctant to put that on. Okay, so let's watch this. Come on, get Angle. There. Ooh. Whoa. Mariella's frozen. That's kind of weird. Oh, oh, who's gonna win? Oh, oh, blocked. Ooh. Oh. Bimba. Nobody wins. Because friendship's more important than fights over tic tac toe. So, um, let's feed feed vegetables or chocolate. So let's try vegetables first. Gibby. Oh, it's refusing. Aww. I don't know why. I actually watched Pink Sims review before doing this, so I I know that also happened in hers. Let's try one more time. Wait, a duck? What are you trying to do? Oh, you're just gonna check out the chickens. You can get nostalgic, like I am. Uh, that's really weird. I don't know why that happens. So, let's feed chocolate. Let's see if the cow is more receptive to chocolate somehow. What? No! Oh. Wait, maybe we have to just get the milk first. Yeah, that's probably it. So, let's watch your milk cow. Abby Tork. Nah. She got something. Um or she got nothing. Uh oh, no, she just got regular milk. Oh, she can have another milk to create cheese. Okay, so that's how you do that. Cuz I wasn't sure how you do that not shower right now. Uh, milk could be ready for six minutes. Okay, feed chocolate. Sandu, huh? What? Come on. Uh -uh. Why? Why you refuse? Oh, okay. She went for the vegetables finally. How odd. I don't know what factors into that stuff. Oh, it's tic tac. Hoof. Okay, a little correction there. All right, and let's tip the cow too. He he he. Let's see how this goes. Dweeb. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's pretty funny. Um. Okay. How much? Oh, she can already get stuff. Get milk. Get milkshake. And get soy milk. That's pretty awesome stuff. Uh, let's get milkshake. Because they bring boys to the yard and stuff. Uh, but yeah, that's a pretty interesting option. Getting milkshakes directly from the cow. I do like that because milkshakes have been sorely missing from the Sims series. So it's good that's added, though in a strange way. Oh, there's no description for it or anything like that. Let's have her drink the milkshake. And, um, I guess we can try feeding vegetables to, like, more vegetables so that, um, they can get different moodlets. Shaken, not churned. Don't always drink milk, but when I do, I prefer milkshakes. Okay, that's cool. And then more cowbell. <laughs> the world needs more cowbell. It always does. Um, uh, let's put the walls down. Don't miss this. Okay, that's cool stuff. Her eyes are closed. 
She's like, ah, this milkshake's so enjoyable. I must close my eyes to enjoy it. She gonna get a moodlet from it? We'll see. She's already in a really good mood right now. She's elated. Oh, she did. Milkshake. Th uh, thick, delicious vanilla heaven. Okay. Uh, well, we're not gonna worry about work because we have a review to do. So, yeah, you feed vegetables. Dang, those cows, though, they're like... Why does my life suck? I'm so jealous of the black and white cow, whatever you call it. We are stuck in here. We don't get to be tipped or make milkshakes for our sims. We're just sitting here for decoration, appearing as if we're alive. Uh, oh, I didn't see if the cow accepted. Uh, okay. I guess she did. So, let's get more milk. I'll just check over the user manual just to make sure I'm not missing stuff and also get an angle. Yeah. Okay. Um, drink soy milk. Oh yeah, one really weird thing is that it's kind of hard to find this little cow pen thing because it's in outdoor activities in the room sort which makes sense but in the normal classic vi mode it's under decor sculptures i don't know why that is uh one easy thing or rather a thing i do to make it easier is to have a collection file that i made on my own that has all the premium content objects in it so i've already done that for future reference and i suggest you do the same because it's actually kind of interesting looking over the history of premium content by going through the collection file. Um, no, no, don't, don't, don't you dare, not now. Um, oh, she has to go to the washroom soon. Um, okay, what other moodlets are there? Oh, the cow tipping fail. Okay, actually, we'll let Mariella be for a bit because she's been like the star of this for the whole time. Um, okay, he's busy, so. Um, yeah, let's tip the cow again because I want to show off the little fail animation. And we'll do it as many times as necessary. Oh, right, okay, he's a fabric fetcher, so. We don't need to worry about um, stuff, like schedules of work. <clears throat> Awesome. You're just gonna go around and decide differently that it's better to enter from a different side because it'd be more awesome somehow. He's not wearing his everyday outfit, but it still works. <laughs> okay, so an interesting thing I want to make about that animation is that the animation, like, the charging appears to be reused from the vending machine when you tackle the vending machine and possibly end up dying, like one of, like what Duck did in a previous video. Uh, cow tipping fail. 1,000 pounds of cow is as big as it sounds. <laughs> yeah. And also, the falling animation is definitely reused from the dance map because he seemed pretty happy about failing. Aw, oh, brother sisterly love. Argo. Um, awesome. What else is there? <laughs> Utterly ridiculous. I'm not sure how you get that moodlet, but that's a moodlet. And there's also Smarter Than Your Average Cow, which I assume is by um, by either winning or losing the Tic Tac Hoof. Oh, that's probably what Utterly Ridiculous is for, too. Oh, and there's Chocolate Milkshake. Um, let's see. Um, feed Chocolate. You try to get this chocolate milkshake. No, don't go back in. Yeah, feed chocolate. Come on. Yay! Accepted it. Okay. Minus five simoleons. Okay, get chocolate milkshake. Yeah. Awesomeness. There's a lot of options with this cow, even though I wish you could just like pet the cow 
there's I don't know, there's a pretty like, decent amount of options. Uh, and I like some options. All right, let's drink this chocolate milkshake since there appears to be a different moodlet for it, which we will see soon, hopefully. Drink, drink, drink fast, drink fast. Yeah. What? You got improved job performance. <laughs> oh, I guess because the shift ended. Chocolate milkshake. Thick, delicious, chocolatey heaven. Plus 25 mood. Okay. Uh, right. That's pretty awesome. So, yeah, this is easily one of the most awesomely awesomest premium content items in the history of the Sims 3 store. Perhaps even the best. I don't know. It's still a really close call between this and the wave station from the last review. I really love that one. Even though it's not perfect, none of the objects are, but still, it's pretty cool. Both of them. But it's a pretty good deal for the price it's at right now, $12. Like, 16 probably would have been too much. But for some fairly decent clothes and a really fun premium content item, I think it's pretty good. And one interesting point of mention is that this seems to be like the year of the animals in the Sims 3 store because first we got the chicken coop, which is actually over here. <laughs> and then we got many different dragons with Dragon Valley. And now the cows. What's next? Who knows? The shadow knows. If you get that reference, you're pretty amazing. Um, what else is there to say? Um, I didn't really see it when I was playing with it just now, but I remember in both uh, Pink Sims and Urban Sims' review that Cal like shook her head a lot, which was really odd looking. But I haven't seen it here in my own video, which is kind of strange, I don't know. Not sure what's with that. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Duck is starting to get famous, which we don't really care about right now, but, you know, the celebrity system exists. So, yeah, all in all, this is a really good set. One of the best, I think, ever released, especially when it comes to just the premium content. This is really awesome. Like, SimGuru Copeland or any of the st store gurus who happen to be watching this video, you're awesome for doing this. You're really awesome, and I think I might try to use this in a let's play. It, I don't know if... Whoa, it's hailing all of a sudden. Um, go inside before the noise gets too loud. Um, yeah, I might try to use this in my Dragon Valley LP with one of the families. Well, I guess Alice has enough room because there's so much room in her front yard. But yeah, really, really awesome set store goose. Thanks a lot for releasing this and making this for us. And... Yeah, thank you very much for watching this video, everyone. And be sure to like, comment, subscribe, favorite, whatever you feel like doing, because it really helps me out a ton. And it lets me know that you really like my videos, so... Yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in whatever the next video is that will be released. Have a good day, night, somewhere, wherever you are, as long as it's not hailing outside, because that would suck. And there's a little bit of Ann Arbor for you. Coming soon in Sims 3 World Showcase. Hashtag shameless promotion. Alright. <laughs> Bye guys, have a good day.